talk about how to use the law of cosines to find a side length. <clears throat> Bear in mind with how this is set up, this C, what we're trying to find, is got to be related to the big C as being the opposite side of a given angle. So for instance, if we knew that we were looking at this angle here as being 32 degrees, that means we could find this side length over here. In other words, this would be our C because they'd be opposite each other. Um, that then means we need to know the other two sides, meaning we have to, in order to be able to find an unknown side length using the law of cosines, we have to have the configuration side, angle, side. Side, angle, and then side. The setup is pretty darn easy. Please bear in mind that this is equal to C squared, or another way to think of it is that C is equal to the square root of a big long mess. What specifically? Well, the two sides, doesn't matter which one you call A or B. So let's say five squared plus six squared, because you're adding them and you're squaring them, minus, now you're multiplying them, so it still doesn't matter. So we can even mix it up and say five times six or six times five, it doesn't matter. Um, then we'd have to then multiply that result by the cosine of the angle opposite the side we're trying to find, aka 32 degrees. It's also the only angle we know. Please bear in mind you're taking the square root of this whole mess, which is something you should be able to enter in your calculator because this will find the side length directly, which works out to 3.10, sorry, 180. That's it. So don't forget. Side angle side, and you really just plug in numbers in.